Olá, amigos do meu canal no YouTube, professor Demóclis Rocha aqui com vocês. Neste vídeo apresentarei uma pequena parte de uma experiência que eu tive no italk. O italk é um site e também tem o um aplicativo correspondente que serve para você encontrar um professor que possa te ajudar a aprender uma língua estrangeira através de uh, chamadas de vídeo. Então, muito legal, gente. A melhor maneira de você aprender um idioma estrangeiro, na minha opinião, é conversar, é praticar. Então, neste vídeo eu apresentarei uma pequena experiência que eu tive com o italk. Espero que vocês gostem. Se vocês apoiam esta iniciativa, já deixa aquele like. Inscrevam-se no canal e acionem o sininho das notificações se quiserem ficar sabendo sempre que a gente lançar um novo vídeo. Vamos lá! What is the temperature now? Where are you are? Can you tell me? Um, at the moment, it's maybe minus two or minus three, so it's not that cold. Because <laughs> it should be, it should be minus ten, but we have a very mild winter this time. Um, it hasn't been so strong. We haven't had so much snow, only a little bit. So you just said we we've, we've had a very a mild mild. Mm, Can you type I, that? Ah. Uh, you can use it for different things, and yeah. So if I said the the, the temperature or the winter is mild, it means it's not very strong winter. It's quite quite weak in some ways. <laughs> awesome! It's it's it is very good to learn new words like this. To help you. <laughs> yeah. And it's good that you stop me as well and ask me questions. Don't let me talk forever because I will. <laughs> <laughs> I I I will. Always ask you about the words I don't know. I want to tell you something. Uh, in my last lesson here on italki, I want to tell you about when I learned a new word. Okay. And the, the teacher said, Democles, I'm sorry I'm having some trouble here because my laptop, I bought it on Vietnam or in Vietnam, I, I'm not sure. She said, in Vietnam. I bought yeah. Yes, Vietnam. I bought it in Vietnam, Vietnam. So I am having some trouble finding an adapter to mm -hmm. plug it in the outlet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. we went to Miami, my wife and I. And there we went to outlets. And outlets for us me meant uh -huh. um, a store that is far from the from downtown. I think. Yeah, or it's no, it's like outside shops because the mall everything is inside, and then outlet it's just outside shops maybe as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that was my idea, and she told that she said that uh, in my opinion very quickly, although thinking now it wasn't so quick. She, she said it normal, but um, since I am studying English, I'm not that good i i didn't get that the first time she said so i i yeah. i thought that outlet was the plug i mixed the, the things and then she she explained it to me that outlet was the thing in the wall that you that you plug the plug that you plug the plug <laughs> is, is that the way you say yeah yeah you put the plug into it's true <laughs> and I am I'm doing this. I'm, I just told that story. I know it's not very um, particularly interesting, but it yeah, is. It's a good example. Yeah. It's a way for me to practice the word. You know, I I want to I want to to get that meaning. Um, I want to keep it in my mind. So mm -hmm. that's why I was telling you that. And and next time I I will talk to someone. I will tell them about about mild. <laughs> I was talking to Rebecca and she said that the weather was mild. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I didn't get that first time, so I asked her and she explained it to me that mild was not so strong, not so weak. It was yeah, mild, yeah. something in the middle. Yeah. yeah, another example for mild, if you order, let's say, a curry 
at an Indian restaurant or somewhere, you can see the spices. It will say hot, mild, no spice. So mild is like the middle as well. Then so there's so many examples you can use this for. But yeah, my main thing is whenever you learn something new, I want to teach you with examples so you can know all the different ways that you can use it. Um, because if you know just one, it might not be useful. Or if you just know the definition, I don't think this is useful. So. Okay. I, I thank you for your time. I know our time is up, right? Sadly, but I hope I do get to see you again. Um, you have some great questions and things just from today. And uh, yeah, I mean, you seem like quite an enthusiastic learner. I'd love to see your YouTube as well if you want to send it to me. I will send um, a link. Excellent, excellent. But other than that, it was lovely to meet you. If you do have any more questions for me or about lessons, you can send me a message as well, okay? Okay, I'm sure I will schedule new lessons with you. I, I had a great time. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was lovely to meet you. And enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> you too. Bye.